people put a lot of faith, obviously, into, uh, you know, you ask someone who's religious, how do you know this is true? Just they just like believe, you right? Faith in your intellect. You have made your intellect your own God. So you have more faith in your intellect and you've made your own intellect your own God. So you're just as guilty as these other people. I, no, I, I, I agree. And I think, well, at least you agree. So then. No, I do, I do agree. You I do agree. one God for another God and it's the God of your mind. In other words, your own intellect is your own God because that governs yeah. you what is true. So, so you so, make so, the standard, right? So, so how, yeah. So, so how, how can I, how can I, uh, break that you know how can i have more faith in in, in... Uh, i mean I, I don't have a magic solution to tell you oh, no, I, I know but I, i'm just you know i'm here keep for studying yeah. keep studying keep researching keep looking at the evidence for the historicity of the christian faith the evidence for the historicity of jesus and his crucifixion and burial because yeah. even atheist scholars mm -hmm. who are not radical leftist mythicists who will tell you yes the historical jesus existed and yes his followers exist we have evidence if we're going to do serious history to show that and so we know as a fact that jesus was killed by crucifixion we also know as a fact that his own followers were convinced that they saw him alive physically and that he was alive in heaven physically and that started the christian movement so keep studying the historical yeah. evidence for the birth of christianity i have my own experience uh, when i was reading when I was reading the Bible, when I read, I, I read the first 10 pages of it, I only got it recently. I read the first 10 pages. I started yeah, at Genesis. Well, I, it, it was quite an interesting one, something I've never had. Uh, I start after finishing just 10 pages, I te I was starting to tear up Good. in my eyes. And I didn't, yeah. I've never read anything and it's made me upset like that. And it, it wasn't like it was a sad thing. It just, uh, this is what I didn't understand. It just made me upset. So because of where I came from, I guess, I guess now you said I was kind of religious to, towards my own intellect, but, um, and I don't mean this in a in a rude way, and I don't want to offend you or anyone here. But oh. when you're when you don't believe in, I guess Jesus or God for a, a long time, and you grow up with all this kind of uh, te technology around you, like I did, and and you know I wasn't you know I wasn't introduced to the Bible from a young age. When you read some of the things that happen, or you hear you know like you for example, you talk about things that happen, stories in the Bible. It's hard to believe it in a way, and I hope you don't take that the wrong because way because it's have I've, I've, from your frame of reference from yeah. your experience well these things are not possible because i haven't experienced them so who's the standard again of what can and cannot happen i guess the standard is me again you again so there's the unless problem. you are god and all-knowing and have mm -hmm. perfect knowledge of past not just the present how do you know what can and cannot take place and what yeah. is and what isn't possible uh, possible how do you know this i i, I don't yeah. but i see you i see your point now so your problem is you You've made yourself your own standard, your own idol, your own God. Well, uh, that's too hard to believe. Why? Oh, because we don't experience. Well, that's why it's called a miracle. A miracle means it's not a repeated occurrence. If it was yeah. a repeated occurrence, we wouldn't take it as a miracle. Right. Okay. That makes sense. So it comes down to your worldview, right? Yeah. So if you believe there's a personal creator God and that this creator God can intervene in creation and do these miraculous feats, then what's the problem? The problem with you is that you see things that you take for granted and don't see how miraculous they are. Here, I'll give you an example. You okay. see birth every day, right? So you take it for granted. It's nothing really of out course. of the ordinary miraculous. Well, yeah, it happens all the time. Okay, but let's now really break down that even what you think is something mm -hmm. normal and natural yeah. is supernatural because you're telling me from a sperm and an egg, yeah. when they come together, it creates a brand new life and a completely unique personality. Yeah. And you don't see anything miraculous about that? I do, I do, but it's it's. You have siblings? It, it, yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Yeah. So you came from the same father and mother. Yes, I have. I have uh, one from the same. Father. You have so the one that you have from the same father and mother. You both yeah. came into being through the same act of sex, and yet, why yeah. are you so completely different? It's How did that sperm that, and that yeah. egg create a uniquely a unique personality? Yeah, I, 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 I can't explain. Thing? I can't explain that to you, and I'm guessing oh. there's ah. So yeah. here's a miracle taking place before your eyes, but because it's a natural occurrence, you don't think it's miraculous. See, this is the problem with your mindset. Even yeah. that which you take for granted, you see daily, yeah. which you think is just part of the norm, it's just part of the natural realm, is actually yeah. supernatural because how the hell does a sperm and an egg create a unique life with a unique personality and you and I can come from the same father and mother, mm -hmm. same act of sex and completely different. And you don't yeah. see that this is supernatural in of itself? Well, I do now. I, you've you've opened my eyes a lot, actually. Now that you know, that's just, my just, point. Just this simple your discussion thinking. has made me, yeah. yeah. Your thinking, okay. your thinking is such that well, these things happen every day, and since someone being raised from the dead doesn't happen in today, it can't happen. 
Whereas a lot of what takes place in front of you is itself a miracle that you cannot explain. Mm -hmm. For example, why is it you can breathe on planet Earth, but if you leave the atmosphere, you die? That's what is it right. about Earth? Because it's in space, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So if you leave the Earth and enter space, no oxygen, you die, you float away, right? Mm -hmm. Then what is it about Earth that's suspended in space? That allows you to breathe and live. When uh, yeah, it, I, can't, I, can't, I, I can't. I can't answer that. It's. it's, it's oh, but you take that for granted because life. Right. Is, yeah. 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 No. Uh, no. That. Um, yeah. And no, by that the makes way, a lot of sense. You want modern proof that the dead can be raised? How many people you know clinically dead? Heart stop, brain stop, and they're resuscitated. Yeah. That. that yeah. That does happen. Yeah. So yeah. if it can happen today, because we have the technology to do it, why yeah. would you then think that God cannot do that without technology? See, and, and and this is, I guess, this is where it comes back to my faith in 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 God, right? And me and me trying to have myself as the stat, my exactly. intellect as the standard. Yeah, that's the point. So, so you've made, you, no, so, so yeah, like I said, I, I'm serious about uh, doing this. Well, you got to change life. your mindset. That's what I'm trying to show you. Change, uh, of course, yeah. Your mindset. The problem is with your mindset, not the evidence, because Jesus stood in front of people who saw the miracles, and they still rejected him. So it's not yeah. the evidence; it's your assumption, your mindset. Because if Jesus stood today in front of us and did the miracles that he did, yeah. let's just assume, because you still don't know if it's sure or not, let's assume it's true. Jesus walked here, did miracles. Mm -hmm. If miracles in of themselves could produce faith, then how do you explain the fact there are people who saw the miracles and still had him killed and didn't believe? Well, this, yeah, the, I guess this is it. I mean, it's, it's very easy. It's very easy to, I can understand now why people like me might not be able to believe it especially since like you said there were people that saw it with their own eyes and and, and didn't believe it that's so, my point yeah. it has nothing to do with evidence because you can witness a miracle and still explain it away it's, and yeah. still find a way not to believe that's what they did so this is my point your problem is not the evidence your problem is you your mind a closed mind a closed mind did it that's moment. it but so yeah. when you change your mind and it'll be open mm -hmm. then you'll see how clear and irrefutable god's existence is because your existence is proof of God's existence. Your yeah. conception is proof of God's existence because again, just the miracle of life, how do you explain it naturally? That a sperm and an egg comes together. You and I, let's say we have the same parents, but we came out differently. How is that? How do you explain that act of sex producing a brand new human life with a unique personality? Even scientists will tell you that the Earth's positioning from the sun is at a perfect distance, 93 million miles, right? Uh, yeah, they would, I guess they would say that. Yeah, yeah they would say that. They say uh, how, any how, closer how? and the earth would be burned up, right? Yeah. Any further and the earth would freeze up. Now, how yeah. do you explain the perfect positioning and placement of the earth in relation to the sun where it's not any closer and it would be burn one degree, it'd burn up or closer or one degree further, it would freeze up. Now, this is something you take advantage because the earth exists and you live in it, but you never question how miraculous that is. I, I don't really feel like I need evidence anymore because it's just this small conversations kind oh, of, Lord yeah. So what, so, so what do I, what do I need to do? You know, I'm, I, I, I don't know too much about it. All I know is that hearing about Jesus and Christianity, it kind of brought warmth. It made me feel warm and like welcomed, even though it wasn't about me, of course, yeah. you know, it was just stuff that I'm watching. How do I, uh, I guess, become a proper, uh, Christian. Okay, well, now you're asking me to become a Christian. Now, I gave you a link in the private chat. That's Expedition yeah. Bible. I will, I'll walk you through this. So you are telling me, you feel now your heart is open and you're not just saying it as an emotional response that Jesus is Lord and that he has been raised from the dead? Yeah, it's from, from the heart. So let's confess. I confess. I confess. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Yahweh. He is Yahweh. Who became flesh. Who became flesh. From the virgin. From the Virgin, I confess. I confess. Jesus died for my sins. Jesus died for my sins, so that I could live. So that I could live. And I confess. And I confess. God the Father raised him back from the dead. God the Father raised him back from the dead. And I confess. And I confess. Jesus is alive in his body of flesh. Jesus is alive in his body of flesh. And he will return. And he will return. And I give Jesus my life. And I give Jesus my life. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. And my Savior. And my Savior. Have your way with me. Have your way with me. Amen. Amen. I love you, brother. I will contact you later about getting baptized, all right? Yeah, thank you very much. for. Thank Jesus. Yeah. He brought oh, you to the yeah. place to smack you around a little bit. Tough love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.